Most of the software used today is part of a distributed network of computer systems spread across the globe. Multiple machines process data in parallel and communicate with each other at different speeds. How reliable is this network? What if a system fails or there's a delay in information? Is there a way to keep data more consistent as it travels around the globe? Join us as we hear from computer science professors Joseph Hellerstein and Peter Alvaro. Distributed computing is really happening at all scales right now in computer science. We're seeing systems, of course, that are spread across the globe with major internet companies and so on. But also, even within a single computer, we're breaking into multiple components there. And so we want to ask the question, can we let these components run independently without coordinating in order to achieve better efficiencies? And that question's relevant at the global scale, and it's also relevant at the micro scale. So CALM stands for consistency as logical monotonicity. CALM doesn't just explain why, for example, languages like Bloom and Daedalus were effective uh, for the purposes they were designed. It also helps us go back even further back in the past and explain why some of the best designs of existing systems that were not based on a monotonic language, why did the things that worked work? This paper is a retrospective, and it goes back to work that we were doing in my group on building distributed systems from specifications. And we found many times that we thought we'd specified these things and implemented the specifications, and strange bugs would arise. So we began asking ourselves, well, how do we get these systems to be correct by specification? And I had this conjecture at one point that I think for the monotone programs, this is gonna be easy. And then the question was, well, for the non-monotone programs, is it hard, is it impossible? Uh, what mechanisms would we need for those? So with this conjecture in hand, I presented it to the community in a keynote at Pods in 2010 and kicked off a bunch of activity. A graduate student at Hasselt University in Belgium, Tom Amelou, was the one who really went after this and wrote a sequence of theory papers proving what had been the CALM conjecture into the CALM theorem. If you look casually at the history of distributed systems theory, it's a really sad story. It's about what you can't do. So one of the really nice things about CALM is CALM is about what can be achieved. <laughs> Here's a region. Programs exist in it that haven't been written yet. That's exciting, you know? Think of a program while it's running. So far, it's only got some of its input. What could it say at the output? If it's a monotone program, it can say everything it knows to be true so far. If it's a non-monotone program, it can't say anything because some new fact could come in and cause it to change its mind. So if every component in a distributed system is monotone, each component can communicate with the others along the way based on what they know so far. And that's sort of the crux of the intuition behind the call. Monotonicity is a property that if we can spot it in a program, we get that guarantee about the program's executions. By shifting our focus from behaviors and mechanisms to computational outcomes, our hope is that our work on COM will engender research on everything from new languages to program large-scale systems to checkers for existing languages. The end goal of all this work, of course, is to make it easier for practitioners to write programs that are correct and performant. Learn more in Keeping Calm when distributed consistency is easy, a review article in the September 2020 Communications of the ACM.